Hello everyone, I'm Jane the Groomer, and welcome to the Grooming Table. In this video, we're going to show you how we like to keep Weemi during the summer. It's short, but easy to maintain. And I've been using Relic these days, but you can use any, any spray you like, even water, to help strengthen the he healthy hair so they don't break. And the dead hair that we're going to comb out is going to help get those the best results possible so the dog stays fresh and cleaner and stays smelling long, uh, clean for longer. I like to do the sani before the bath because, um, and sani just means a sanitary area. I like to do the close shaving before the bath uh, just in case it, it makes the skin feel itchy and that way the bath will take care of that. And you'll notice here that I like to keep the tip, that way um, it acts as a wick and guides the streams, keeps everything cleaner. Now Relic, uh, they also make a shampoo made out of volcanic minerals, enhanced by nanotechnology. I've really been liking this shampoo. And you'll notice here, I always work from the back to the front, whether I'm brushing the dog, or rinsing the dog, or drying the dog. And that's just um, to, I guess, just keep everything, uh, the process the same. And once you get the dog thoroughly uh, soaked with water, then I like to start from the back again. The butt area, <laughs> oh, don't drop the bottle. Um, and then the tummy, that, the sanitary area again, um, the armpits, the ears, and these are called the sebaceous zones. I learned this from a lady named Michelle Knowles. She's an excellent groomer herself. But these areas are usually the areas that are gonna cause the smell and things like that. Um, and so you wanna get those areas first. Now this technique, I actually learned by watching Caesar Milan do this <laughs> on a dog. And basically he was mimicking a dog's mouth, how it would gently massage another dog and look at this, Mimi's just loving it, soaking it up. Look at that. And when I rinse, I like to always protect the sensitive areas like the eyes, the ears, the nose. And this builds trust and helps the dog understand in a very obvious, clear way that you care about them because you're protecting their ears, their eyes, and you know areas that would make them feel uncomfortable. Isn't he so cute? I may be biased. Now again, I work from the back to the front. Look at that. The only, and then with the drying especially, because when you go from the front to the back, I, you notice how it whipped the hair, leaves like a trail of devastation, like a hurricane or a tornado went by. But when you work from the back to the front, especially with the dryer, it lays the hair nicely. So you always wanna work. Nice beat, isn't it? <laughs> now, for the head, I do like to pull that nozzle off. That way, it's not such a concentrated, um, pressurized air. Now, this one comb is half an inch, and it's under, and the 15 blade is under the one comb. Now again, working with the angles, the natural lay of the dog, you always wanna work, before I got cut off with that by the beat there, by that, this beautiful beat, <laughs> I was gonna say, we're always work with the angle in mind. Always work with the natural angles of the dog. There you go, and just let it flow. Now the dog's not always gonna you know, stand perfectly for you. These are living, sentient beings with their own thoughts and feelings. So we want to honor that. And the way you want to hold the legs, see, it's, I want to make sure it's comfortable for him as well. But see, that's how I get the, those hard to reach places. You just have to learn to hold it in different angles. Now this seat comb, is 7 eighths of an inch. So it's almost an inch, but it's called a C comb. 
And the comb guards that I'm using are stainless steel wall clip-on combs, uh, universal. And I'll put links to those in the description. So, if you, Christina Pulaski once said, if you groom with structure, you'll never go wrong. Now, these, are, these two shears are the ones I'm using now. This one here was sent to me by a very special friend in Arizona. These I got at a pet fair. Now, these are my special Red Robin shears sent to me by a very special friend named Robin Stolen. Robin, she has a she's a groomer as well. She has a place called Robin's uh, Pet Grooming, and they actually got the best of uh, best of Twin Harbors in 2015 for pet grooming services. But she literally dropped everything she was doing and rushed out to a post office in the middle of a snowstorm <laughs> to to send me these shears and clippers. Um, along with some other curved shears and and she sent me three clippers actually one of the clippers I sent to a friend in Arizona, you know pay it forward So I mean Robin, I just can't thank you enough and these are actually my my favorite shears because they're priceless to me Oh my goodness look at this and they cut so well. I, I had them sharpened and balanced so They're not I don't even think they're a name brand Just goes to show, though, that you don't really need um, you know, name, name brand shears. Um, these are my Red Robin shears, and they are my favorite. They are, even though they're straight. You, see how uh, you can actually make curved lines. It really doesn't matter what you're using. Look at the tools as your chisels, and they just help you chisel away the excess, so you can get the Michelangelo underneath. Just like, I mean, the King David underneath, I'm sorry. But just like Michelangelo said, he didn't create King David. He, King David was already there. He just sculpted away, just ch chiseled away the excess. And that's what we do as groomers. We're just chiseling away. But the beauty's always there. Look at that. And you just have to let it flow, you just feel it. As long as you have the finished picture in your mind, you can achieve it with any tool. It really is just about having a good imagination. Grooming to me is truly the ultimate dog experience. It's about trust. It's about love. Now, to finish, I like to card with the Coke King. And that's just gonna smooth out any clipper lines, any choppiness, and give you a nice smooth finish. Look at this. And this is why we do what we do, isn't it? For this moment right here. Right there. That's love. Thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot thank you enough for all the support. I really feel like the luckiest groomer alive. Thank you guys so much.